Alright, so, um, I have plugins. Let's talk about that. First things first, all my plugins are available in my card. It is utautautau.card.co. It also has other stuff in there, so um, check it out. First one is copy and paste through different windows. It does exactly that. Just enter Y when copying and N if not. This is just for those who can't get paste special to work, and that includes myself. Next one is remove note bins, mostly. It also does exactly that, kind of. It reads for the dash note that note vendors mainly use, and also checks the vowels to connect those as well. Bad news is the vowel checking works best with Neuromagy with no suffixes, but I mean that's usually what VSQXs from overseas have. So um. I'm gonna let this one slide. Next is pitch shift from base USD. This one. Everyone needs this one. What it does is shift the currently opened USD's notes according to a reference USD that you select. Case in point harmonies. Frigging frigging harmonies. Harmonies are usually just the main USDs but with shifted notes. So this one does this automatically for you. So, um, use this. Use this. Just use it. You'll get your main USD tuning with, from your harms. Anyway, side note please make sure the timing for both USDs are the same. The plugin only accommodates for Utao note lengths, not actual seconds lengths. There's a difference, okay? Next up is Semitone Snap. Kind of useless, kind of not. What it does is to make sure all of your control points are right in center of the note where it's quote unquote supposed to be, and that's all it does. So if you have gripes for off center control points, I guess, whatever, you can use this one. It also affects mode 1 pitch. That kind of leads to a funky pitch snap like effect that if you know Vocaloid. But yeah, anyway, next up is... Oh, this? Who, who even wants this? To be honest, why did I make this? <laughs> oh well, the next one is pitch bin type. It just lets you type in a message in ASCII and... Uh, it just inserts the notes that has those characters as mode pitch bins. Um, I guess if you want to make a readme.ust with mode pitch bins, I, I, I don't know, just. You know what? Th this doesn't matter. Just, just don't mind this plugin, okay? Now that's out of the way, um, next is Fuse and Split. This plugin idea is by this Utah user's Twitter handle. What it does is fuse or split notes according to the lyric it has. It fuses notes when it sees a plus on either the start or the end of the lyric. Of course, it'll fuse it with the note where the plus sign is facing. Splitting requires using minus signs in the lyric and it'll split accordingly. Splitting is done first and fusing goes after, by the way. It just makes this thing happen. So keep that in mind, maybe? I don't know. The last one for my Utah plugins is Scale Finder. It finds the scale or key of the notes you select. The more notes, the better the guess, cause duh, it just guesses. It's not a perfect algorithm, but it's pretty nice to have. I got someone who got confused on how to install this one, so um, you need to make its own folder with the plugin.txt and the whole scale finder folder inside of the RAR or zip file that I made. I don't know what I archive stuff into now. I'm thinking it's RAR, but anyway. Now that the Utah plugins are done, next up are my set 
param plugins. To install them, you just need to extract them in the set param plugins folder, separated by folders for each plugin. I've made them for set param 3.0. B15071313 or I guess that should be build July 15, 2013. Set params pretty old. Make sure you have that version because that's the version I have. I think it's the latest version. I'm not sure if set params plugin things are consistent with other versions. By that I mean the way set param communicates with plugins are the same but yeah just keep that in mind anyway the first ones are the three small auto tweaking ones which is auto rounder auto cleaner and batch line deleter auto rounder rounds everything to not have decimals so um if you have the gripes for set param decimals this is your friend um, I know people who don't like decimals. That actually counts as for, for me as well. Next is Auto Cleaner. It removes duplicate aliases from your auto. It will detect affixed aliases differently. By that I mean, if you have something at the start and at the end, like, I don't know, the G4 usually thing kind of deal, it will treat it separately. Last one is the Batch Line Deleter. It does just that, delete lines you have selected in batch. It's only great when you're deleting a lot though because set param will read the whole auto again because it thinks it generates its own auto. Anyway, the last of the set param plugins is my version of auto adjuster for VCV as a set param plugin. It mostly matches with the latest auto adjuster for VCV. I've also tried to contact the creator of Auto Adjuster about this. They haven't really responded, but I will willingly take down my plugin if ever needed. My last email was actually back in March. I thought it was a year ago. Damn. Probably should email them again. Now that those are done, last thing I'll discuss is about PyUtau, which is my Python library for Utau plugins. I um, I currently have a suggestion from it which discusses the possibility of using Python property decorators for the setters and getters, but I don't have the time to do that yet, so I'm um, sorry about that. I guess, I don't know if you can, but you can make your own branch or fork maybe and I'll, I, I'll just merge those two from the to the master I mean but yeah anyway yes for anyone who knows Python I think my little library is a good thing to have if you ever wanted to make some Utah plugins it works only with the latest Tau USD version which is version 1.2 uh, because I'm pretty sure that's the only USD version we'll deal with right now. But yeah, full documentation is also in the GitHub because I don't know where else I can put it. I'll be putting a link to it in the description and I'll be flashing one right now. Like there, it's right it's right there now. Go there, I don't know. Alright, so um that puts an end to this video. I don't really know how to end this video, uh, I guess join my discord, I don't know. People will usually get earlier access to my plugins in there, by that I mean I just send it there first because my plugins are usually discord sized, by that I mean they're usually less than 8 megabytes, which is why I can just send it to discord directly, but yeah. I think I'll just end this with a typical cutoff goodbye, so um, bye!